You know the saying, when one door closes, another one opens. But this is more of a case of when you hold the door open for violent protesters, you later hold the door open for one of your staffers to get the job you left vacant. I know it's not it's not as catchy. I'm workshopping it, but it is the story of former Oregon State Rep Mike Nearman, and I'm sure you all know why he got expelled from the legislature after this video, letting right wing demonstrators into the Capitol who then later fought with state police. There was another video that showed what it was him appearing to plan this whole thing and calling it Operation Hall Pass, never a good idea to give catchy names to potential crimes. Last month, lawmakers on both sides of the aisle kicked him out over this with a 59 to 1 vote, that one vote being Nearman himself. He tried. The thing is, just because he got voted out didn't mean that he was gone for good. And that's because the state Republican Party decided to nominate Nearman as one of the candidates to replace himself. You're saying, what? They can do that? Wow, what a, what a weird loophole. That doesn't make sense at all. To which I say, yeah, that's, that's about right. But they chose him and four other names, then sent that list to the commissioners of each county in that district. So Polk, Yamhill, Benton, and Marion counties. Then this afternoon, those commissioners got together to pick the person out of those five names to fill his seat. And they decided on, drum roll please, drum roll. We don't, brrr, not Mike Nearman. No, they picked instead this woman. Anna Scharf, who actually worked in Nearman's office for the past year and a half. She's the one on the right, not in football pads. She talked about working with Nearman during today's meeting. When the representative um, was expelled from the legislature, I stayed behind. Um, his chief of staff and I were still there every single day, and I felt that that was really important, and I felt honored to be able to continue to do that. The emails and the phones, the desires, the wishes, the concerns didn't stop just because House District 23 lost their representative. They lost their vote, not their representation. Here's what else we know about Scharf. Uh, she is from a farming family, and a lot of the commissioners did praise her for her agricultural background. She also supports Timber Unity, as you can see from this video, uh, this picture that we pulled from her Facebook page. And, uh, Timber Unity is a right-wing group that rallies for loggers and truckers, but also has some uh, extremist ties. There have been some stories there. For instance, the group's spokeswoman was at the insurrection at the U.S. Capitol in January. But the commissioners were hopeful that she would be the best fit for the job. And I'm going to reach out to her. I'd like to know more, of course. Uh, we'll let you know more about Anna Scharf and her politics soon.